Welcome to another episode of Terry's Notes and today we are going to be looking at Pythagoras' theorem. Alright, so let's look at this right angle triangle here. We have triangle A, B, C where C is a right angle triangle. Now in terms of labeling, right, this is the point A now the side that is opposite to A we call small a. The side that is opposite to C is called small c. And the side that is opposite to B we call small b. Right? And the side opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse, right? Or the longest side in the right angle triangle. So this angle here we know is 90 degrees and we apply Pythagoras' theorem on triangles that, are, that have a 90 degree angle in them, right? So an angle, uh, a triangle with an angle that is 90 degrees is called a right angled triangle, right? Now, the formula that we need to remember is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And this is essentially Pythagoras' theorem. So what we are saying is that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. All right? Now you need to remember this formula and you need to be able to apply the formula. So let's do an example. Suppose I have a right angle triangle and we have um, let's say this is three units and this is four units and we want to find the length of this side here which we know is a hypotenuse because it is opposite the right angle right now this is Pythagoras's theorem here right so what we are saying is that the sum of the squares the <coughs> of the other two sides is equal to the sum of the square of the hypotenuse so we can write now we can write this as c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared right which is Pythagoras' theorem I've just written it in the reverse direction and a we take a as 3 squared plus 4 squared and this will give me 9 plus 16 which is equal to 25 but remember this is c squared we're working out here and c is equal to square root of 25 therefore c is equal to 5 right so this is equal to 5 okay so you just need to remember the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared and make sure you label the right angle triangle property properly and remember this o this equation only applies to right angle triangles so if you had a triangle that looked like this and you had this as 2 and you had this as 3 and we want to find this length, we cannot apply Pythagoras' theorem because it is not a right angle triangle, right? So you must have a 90, de 90 degree angle in the triangle to be able to, to use this formula. So let's do another, another example. So we have a triangle here and let's call this A call this B, let's call this C, this is 90 degrees and let's say this is 12 and this is 5 and we want to find, so the question is, uh, question is asking to find A, B. How do we do that? So we have a right angle triangle 
we have two lengths and we want to find one of the sides. In this case, this side, the side that we want to find is opposite the right angle. So that is really the hypotenuse. And we can therefore apply Pythagoras' theorem. So the theorem is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, right? So we want to find the hypotenuse, right? C is always the hypotenuse in the formula. So C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. We can choose, in this case, because it, the triangle is already labeled, we know that this is A, so, sorry, this is C, this is A, and this is B. So it will be 5 squared plus 12 squared. Therefore c squared is equal to 25 plus 144. Therefore c squared is equal to 169. Therefore c is equal to the square root of 169. And this should be 13. Right, so this will be 13. Right, so the formula is itself is easy to remember. And what you have to pay attention to is the labeling and make sure that there is a 90 degree angle in the triangle. Let me do another one for you. Let's say we have, I'm not drawing these triangles to scale, eh? so I have E, B and C and in this case we have I'm giving you different lengths now let's say this is 8 and we want to find B C find the length B C alright so let's see if we can use Pythagoras' theorem we have a triangle it is a right angle so great, we can use Pythagoras' theorem because we have a right angle and we have two lengths and we want to find the third length. So we know that the formula is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. All right, so we need to figure out what is A, B, and C. So we know that this will be C, this will be A, and this will be B. So this will be 15 squared is equal to A squared, which is an unknown, plus 8 squared. All right, so 15 squared will give me 225. So this will be 225 is equal to A squared plus 8864. Right now, this is where students start to get confused. It's like, oh, how do we do this? All you need to do is to rewrite this as A squared plus 64 is equal to 225. So A squared is equal to 225 minus 64. Therefore, a squared is equal to 161. Now, at this point, you're going to be using your calculator here, unless it's in the multiple choice exam. So, a is equal to the square root of 161. Therefore, a is equal to 12. point seven All right <clears throat> now in this question if they had given you these lengths and so the, so let's say this was 8 cm and 15 cm then your answer should have been 12.7 cm right let's do one more example So 
we have A, B, and C. We have a right angle. And this length is, say, let's say, 20 cm. And this is, let's say, 10 cm. And we want to find the length B, C. All right? Um, so we check, we have two, two of the sides of the triangle and we have a right angle, so we can use Pythagoras' theorem. And we set up our equation, which is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. C is always the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. So therefore, this will be 20 squared is equal to A squared plus 10 squared, all right? So 20 squared will give me 400 is equal to E squared plus 100. And then we rewrite this as E squared plus 100 is equal to 400. All I did was make sure that the E is on the left hand side. So E squared is equal to 400 minus 100. Therefore, E squared is equal to 300. And therefore, E is equal to the square root of 300. Therefore, E will give me 17.3 cm. This will be 17.3 cm. Okay? So using Pythagoras' theorem is pretty straightforward. You just have to be able to identify when you can use it. Okay?